Hello guys, in this video we will see how to create Azure Blob Storage account and upload files to Blob Storage. So in this video, first we will create the Azure Storage account, then container, then upload the files to Blob Store. So I have connected to my Azure portal, then in the search resource, search for Azure Storage. Click on Storage Accounts or click on the menus. Then click on all services. You see here we have the storage accounts. Still, if you are unable to find, just search for storage. See, both are same. Click on storage accounts. See, at present I don't have any storage account. So, to create storage account, we have to click on create storage account or click on create. Both are same. Also, see here the message create. A storage account to store up to 500 TB of data in the cloud. Use general purpose storage accounts to store object data. Use a no SQL store. Define and use queues for processing and set up file share in the cloud. Okay. Use the blob storage account and the hot or cool access price to optimize your cost based on how frequently your object data is accessed. So click on create or create storage account both are same. Click on it. Here we have to provide the basic information like subscription name. See I am using pay as you go that is paid one. I don't have the free trial version. If you have free trial you have to select it. In the next resource group. See I have the following resource groups. You want to create separate resource group for this storage account, you have to click on it and provide that. In any name is fine, okay, but cannot be duplicate with the available names, okay. I am going with virtual machine, it can be anything, okay. Then storage account name, here we have to provide the name for the storage account. See here, see the name must be unique across all existing storage account names. Suppose if other you other account holders are having the same name, it won't allow. And the name must be between 3 to 24 characters long and it must contain only lowercase and numbers combination. Okay. So I am giving Arthroscos storage account. Select the region. See the default is US East. I am going with the same and performance. See for low latency we have to select the premium but i am going with the standard and it is it is of type general purpose v2 account geo redundancy see we have different options like lrs grs grs ggrs okay i am going with the geo redundant storage also see here make read access to data available event available in the event of region and availability okay click on it then click on advanced See here, require secure transfer enable. Okay, check the options based on your requirement. Hierarchical namespace. Okay, it's fine. If you want, if you have to provide. I don't want. Then blob storage. If you want to allow tenant replication, you have to check the checkbox. Access type hot or cool. See, access type of type hot is for optimized for frequently access data and every day usage scenario but infrequent data access you have to go with cool okay so i am going with the first one azure files i am not going to then click on net next that is networking here if you want to network access if you want to enable public access from all networks you have to this if you want to enable only for selected networks and IP ranges, you have to select this one. If you select it, you have to provide the virtual network name. I don't have any, you have to create it and you have to provide the IP ranges. If you do want to disable public access and use private access, you have to select this one. Then we have to add the endpoint. So I want to enable the public access from our networks. Okay. Also see here, network routing, if you want from Microsoft network routing, you have to select this one. If you want internet routing, you have to select this one. Later also you can change these options. Okay, click on data production. See, this is the enable soft delete blobs for seven days. For all are seven days. Okay, I 
I'm not going to change. If you want to change, you can change. Tracking, enable version tracking. If you want to, click on this checkbox. Access control. It is also if you, as per your requirement. Click on encryption. See, we have two types of encryption. Microsoft and custom managed. See, if you select custom managed, you have to provide the other information. Enable support for custom managed. I am going with blobs and files only. Click on next tax. I am not going to provide any tax. So click on next. See this is the summary of the storage account. If you are working with all these settings, click on create. See in deployment is in progress. It is creating in the resource group name virtual machine. Click on see deployment is completed. Click on go to resource. Close this one. You see this is the account name and resource group name, location, performance type, replication status, account kind like account type, and other information. Monitoring on all. Okay. You want to add text, you have to click on here. See, we can directly upload files here also. Click on upload, then drag the files. Suppose Suppose if I want to drag these two files, select, select both, drag to here, then select the container. See, we don't have container. So before uploading, we must create the container or create, just click on here, create a new. Otherwise, cancel this one, click on containers. I don't have any containers. See, this is the large container, so don't upload anything here. Okay. Go back, containers, click on add new container, click on it, then provide the name for the container. I am giving data blobs, okay, anonymous access level, private blob or container. So I am going the first one, private and click on create. See, container is created, we have the blob storage. Now if you go to the account overview, click on upload, drag the files or click on the browse files, click on these two files, click on open. Now in the drop down we can see the container, click on it, see now we are able to click on the upload, if you upload the files will be uploaded, otherwise close it, go to containers, click on the client container name, then click on upload, see. We got the same window. You can drag and drop the files here directly. Drag this here, then you can upload because here no need to provide the container because we are already in the container. This blob data blobs one. Okay, click on upload. See file successfully uploaded. Okay, we have successfully uploaded the files to container. If you want to delete select them and click on delete if you want to delete the particular file select only the particular file and click on this three buttons three dots and burger then click on delete if you want to download click on download if you want to view and edit click on view and edit okay this is the way see it is mix of the data okay. close this one again if you want to create file shares you have to click on file shares and you have to create the file share right? see this is the creation time, provisioning state, succeeded. See, this is the blob service information, this is file service information, this is queue service, queue service information, this is table service information. See, the size for the share capacity is 5TA. See, here we have uploaded only zip files. We can also upload the any files, like video files. Click on browse, select anything. So you can up, you can select these files as well. select them and click on open. You can upload. See the files has been loaded. If you upload, 
those will be uploaded to this container okay i'm canceling this one go to storage account if you want to create again another container you have to provide the name and you have to select the access level okay we can also upload files from the mobile also click on upload click on browse files here select the upload from mobile see we have to scan this one then we can access the files from the mobile okay close this one suppose if you want to upload entire directory click on upload then go to directories drag the directory to here see it is success click on upload see we have uploaded entire folder successfully so in this video we have seen how to create azure storage account and we have uploaded files and folders to azure blob storage for more azure or devops or cloud videos please subscribe my channel thank you